sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the LTE cell scanner on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this. Sorry, went ahead and did an update. We need to install a few dependencies in order to make this work. So, I have already done this to save some time. So, I'll throw a link in the description for this information here on my website. So, next thing we need to do is get the software. So, we'll do a wget command. And once that's done, we're going to tart. <clears throat> Just like such. Then what we can do is cd into that directory. Then we need to make a build directory. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we need to cd into the build directory. Then we need to do a cmake command and we're going to go ahead and add the udev rules like such hit enter once this is done we need to make it so let me get back here so we'll make now this is going to take a little bit, not that long on a Pi 4, but uh, I did install this on a uh, Pi 3, and it did work fine. It obviously, it just takes a little longer. So I'll pause the video, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so that didn't take too long. So what we need to do now, we can do a sudo make install, and we'll just go ahead and install that. So we're done. So if we do an ls, you can see we have a src directory. So we need to cd into that. And if we do another ls, you can see we have the cell search script and the LTE tracker. So we're going to be using the cell search for this video now if we just do a <clears throat> thing here with a dash f for help you can see we have some options here so we're going to be using the dash p option as well to the command because we want to correct our uh, usb dongle so that's something you might have to mess with so let's go ahead And we'll just start with the command here. <clears throat> now the start frequency is 770 megahertz, 770 megahertz. We're going to change it. We'll just say 800 megahertz. And we'll just change that to 880. So here at the end, we are going to do a dash P in a zero now this might fail because we might have to reboot the pi i forgot to do that so if it does fail definitely we'll restart the pi all right so let's go ahead and reboot this guy and we'll be back all right we are back so like i said <clears throat> now, if you run this without the dash P, uh, it's going to take a lot longer, as you can see here. And obviously, more than likely, your dongle is not off that much. So, we're not worried about the 15.0 copy. I didn't get that on the Pi 3, but this is... A, the Pi 4, from what I just looked up, doesn't, looks like to be maybe a bug or nothing too serious to worry about. But what we're going to do is cancel that with a Control C and do our dash P 
zero, then rerun this, and it's going to go a lot faster since our dongle is uh, <clears throat> set. It's not off very much. As you can see how much faster it's going. So anyway, if we start getting some LTE traffic, it'll start showing it here. But like I said, I'm just using a, a generic antenna screwed right into the dongle. So that's not going to do any good here. So anyway, we're going to stop this. And if we go back to our command here, you can see that we can change the frequencies if you want to, uh, to your area. All right. And to do the LTE tracker, we can just do something like this with a dash F. So if we'll just say if it's 850 megahertz, then like I said, if we run this, the PPM is going to be way off. So we need to do the dash P with a zero. <clears throat> now, like I said, I'm not using the best antenna, so it's not finding nothing. But uh, if you had like a, a Yogi for 800 megahertz, we'd be all right, which I do have one. I just don't have it set up to be able to use right now. So... Uh, Hopefully this will help get you started with this, but it looks like the uh, software does run really good on a Pi 4, especially. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.